to show you how to mirror from one GitLab instance to another GitLab instance. In this case, the GitLab instance that I'm mirroring from is actually running Heptapode, which is based off of GitLab. We're running this on an internal server, so you see localhost up here. We connect to it via SSH. It's not open publicly. And we're going to push a project from here, which I've just created, a test project, to our GitLab public server uh, for other people to use. Uh, so to do this, we first create a project. I've called it test here. This is a Mercurial project um, created in Heptapode. And now I want to push this. And so we go to GitLab. This is the destination. And I create a new project for it, which I'm just going to call test again. Make sure it's blank. <clears throat> Notice from the project name, you get a slug. Choose a namespace if you want to put this somewhere specific to organize it, description, etc. You can do public or private here, it doesn't matter. And make sure you deselect this initialize the repository with a readme. Uh, we need an empty repository here, otherwise pushing will cause some problems. Okay, we create the project. Now we have our project and we're going to push with SSH, so I need to get this SSH URL, which I can copy here. Now we go back to Heptapode, where we're going to push from. We go down to setting and repository. And under here, you see mirroring repositories. Uh, you'll see a notice here that uh, both Git and Mercurial repositories are supported, but you can't push from Mercurial to Mercurial yet. Um, so we're going to do push from Mercurial to Git because GitLab supports Git. So here's where we put that URL. Now, a couple things to note is uh, this error message is because we haven't actually put in the protocol. We're doing SSH colon slash slash. And then one thing that's not completely obvious from here is that this colon needs to be replaced with a slash. All right, there we go, that's our mirror. Now, as I said, we're going to GitLab, so we can't do HD push, we have to do Git push. Now we need to make sure we're pushing to the right place so we can try and detect the host keys. We get these fingerprints, and you have to go online and check that these fingerprints are actually the correct fingerprints for the uh, GitLab. And so you should do that. I've already checked these and they match. Um, once we've done that, then we choose the authentication method. We're gonna use a public key here. Now, this is, this is how our pushing repository will authenticate to the one that we're pushing to, okay? And so um, we'll need to set that up in a second. And now that's all we need to do. So we are going to click mirror repository. And you'll see the settings were updated. And now down here we have a uh, repository that, oh, I did this beforehand, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. That's the old one. Anyway, here we're pushing to this repository now. We haven't pushed yet because I just created this, but I checked to make sure it worked. And now we have to authenticate to GitLab. So if we try and push this right now, it'll fail because we haven't given any credentials to the GitLab project saying, hey, you can push. Uh, so to do that, first we go here and we copy the SSH public key. This is on the Heptapode, the from server. Now we go over to the test project over here, down to the repositories. And we put that down under a deploy key. Okay, and this is from our test heptapode server. We paste the key in here. And we need to, we want the heptapode server to be able to write to this repository, so we have to grant this permission. We now add the key, go back over here, and now we can trigger the push. And the notice up here, the repository is being updated wait just a little bit to make sure it happens. We can refresh and we see that it, there was a successful update. Now we can go back to our GitLab project to go to the actual project itself and take a look. Now we see that the readme file, which was in the original test project has actually been pushed um, and we'll have a notification that that push has happened. Um, and it was from me. All right, that's all there is to it.